Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to install a generator for Laravel 4. Now this generator comes by the way of Jeffrey Way. He's the editor for nettuts.com. Uh, so if you want to know more about Jeff, you just head on over to nettuts.com. I'm sure all of you uh, have probably already been to nettuts.com and have watched a lot of Jeffrey's uh, videos. So but this is his generator. I take no credit for it at all. What I'm going to go through is how to get it up and running on Laravel. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into this configs folder here and open app.php. And you'll want to go to his GitHub. If you go, if you just search, search Jeffrey Way Laravel 4 generator, it'll bring you to. Let me pull it over here. It'll bring you over here to this. So we're just going to install it. I'm going to move this over to my other monitor so we can just pull it in. Actually, I'll just leave it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to copy this here. And this is actually going to go into the app folder. This is going to go into Composer. So after this line here, I'm just going to have a comma. And we're just going to paste his in here like this. So control S save. Next, we're going to open back up the panel, the control panel, or terminal, whichever one you want to call it, and just type composer update. So now we're going to have to wait for the ever long installation times. So I'm going to pause this while it installs the update. Okay, we're back. It has finished installing the generator. Now, we're just going to want to grab one more thing. This here, this line here, we want to copy it. And this is what we want to paste into the actual app, that PHP file. Don't forget your comma and save it. And now you're ready to go with Jeffrey's uh, generator. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. And next tutorial, we're going to get started with some rapid prototyping and development using Laravel and scaffolding. Stay tuned for that. 